What is up everybody? Good afternoon. It is almost 3 o'clock. I haven't vlogged at all yet today just because I've been so incredibly busy. I got up this morning, did a little bit of Instacart stuff. Didn't eat breakfast, but while I was out I grabbed a chicken breast wrap to kind of help tie me over. It was around 11.30 that I ate, so more of like a lunch. Um, it was good. It was from Sprouts, about 460 calories. I not particularly liking grabbing things like that at the grocery store just because of you know the nutrition I don't necessarily know what's all going into it but I feel like with it coming from sprouts it's a little bit healthier it did have everything written down on the back you know things like that it was about 460 calories for the wrap I think it was 30 grams of protein or something like that so that's good you know that I was able to get that in and then a little while ago um, after going downstairs and going for a walk, I just had a ham and cheese sandwich <laughs> with a, a Greek yogurt. So that's kind of what I've had to eat today. You know, the breakfast or the wrap that I had earlier wasn't completely filling, so that way I was a little bit hungrier for lunch. So I had that before I'm getting ready to do my live, and it's, like I said, almost 3 o'clock now. So, um, with that being said, after I'm done doing the live video, we're talking about vision boards today. I'm going to work out and then um, chill the rest of the evening. I'm so glad it's Friday. I'm so glad it's the weekend. You know, it's a, it's going to be a good one and I'm excited for it. So, anyways, I just got an alarm. It's 3 o'clock. I'm going to let you guys go so I can hit up the live chat, talk to you people, and I will talk to you guys later on this afternoon. up guys i haven't talked to you for quite some time now <laughs> you know it's been kind of like a one vlog session earlier today but i just got done making dinner i made basically this spicy tomato gnocchi with white beans spinach and vegan sausage but it wasn't this at all i actually replaced the gnocchi with the impossible pasta that i get from thin some foods um, the vegan sausage i used some spicy chicken sausage that i've had um, that I needed to do something with and I guess that's really the only two things that I replaced Also, I don't find the spicy sauce that they talk about in this recipe. So I always just get like something from Hy-Vee or The grocery store and then add red pepper flakes to it to give it a little bit of spice And it's always really good every time we've had it. So I'm excited to eat dinner um, I wasn't really feeling too hungry until of course I started making food So now that I feel hungry, I'm glad that my appetite is now here I just hope I don't overeat, you know, but that's okay. I'm making chips as well. I have so many calories left for the rest of the day. I'm not really too worried about it. I just hope that I can make it through tomorrow. And if I don't, that's gonna be okay since I am doing that 72 hour fast. I haven't decided if I should eat tomorrow or not. Kind of thinking about it just because I'll be going for so long, but also at the same time, I kind of don't want to miss out on the autophagy benefits I would get tomorrow fasting. Earlier today, I did a workout. Um, Chloe Ting, she's a girl on YouTube. Hannah told me about her. And so I looked up her videos and I did some of those. I did um, a lower body one, I guess, and then an ab one. And then Ian and I went on a really long walk with Bowser earlier. So that's kind of the workout that I did after my live session. But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go so I can have my dinner here. And I will talk to you guys later on. Hello everybody, good afternoon-ish, it's 11.36. I got up this morning, did a couple Instacart orders, it's a fasting day, I haven't had coffee, I did bring my water, haven't drank much water, kind of slacking on the water today, but um, like I said, didn't have coffee this morning, and right now I'm kind of feeling a little on the fence and weird, I don't know how to explain it exactly. Part of me thinks that today I'm gonna go ahead and do like dinner or something because of the way my appetite has been. Um, you know, I get to my eat days and I'm not really too hungry on my eat days, but I'm going to try for a 72 hour fast. So I'm wanting to make sure that I'm getting in enough food and I'm afraid tomorrow when I eat, I'm not gonna have much of an appetite to help get me through that 72 hours, which if I don't make it through, that's fine. There's always other times to try it. I'm gonna go for as long as I can and I'm not gonna beat myself up on it if I don't make it that long. But you know, the goal is, originally to make it to 72 hours so that's the plan um anyway so i think like i said i'll probably do like a dinner tonight um to get in some food tonight i'll eat tomorrow as well and then tomorrow evening i'll try to go for that 72 hours i'll start it which i'm pretty sure i'll be able to make it through at least the first day and a half okay but it's the rest of the time that i'm kind of worried about but we'll just kind of to see what happens last night um after i talked to you guys we had our dinner spicy chicken pasta stuff or whatever 
and um, then we talked to a couple friends over Facebook Messenger. We haven't seen it in a while. Um, the ones that we visit in Colorado all the time and went to bed. So there wasn't really too much to report last night. And right now we are getting ready to go out for kind of like a walk or a hike or whatever. I'm kind of excited about it to go and get some exercise for the day. I haven't really felt much motivation or anything to do anything. So it's kind of a bummer, but I'm trying to get up and get active and all that good stuff. So wish me luck. I'll talk to you guys later on today. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. My last big eat day before my 72 hour fast. Really hope I can make it through it. I'm really wanting to do this and I'm really gonna have to push myself to be able to do it. Um, you know, so today I'm kind of trying to keep up on the higher protein meals, being much more carb conscious than normal. Of course, I say that as I'm making donuts, but it's protein donuts, so a little different there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have myself a hearty breakfast. I really wanna make sure that I can get in lunch and then tonight for dinner, I'm doing like a ribeye steak with some broccoli and stuff like that. So really wanting to keep up on the good foods today. I'm not really sure if I'll work out too hard. I'm gonna try to get in my walks and probably do some dancing and stuff. I don't think I wanna work out too hard today. I didn't really hit my calorie count yesterday, which was kind of a bummer to me because you know, I'm so used to trying to hit that 750 goal and I only hit 650. But we did go for a really long walk yesterday. Ian and I went hiking. Um, out on a trail and it was about 3.65 miles or something like that. So it was a nice out and back little trail. Came home and I decided to go ahead and break my fast early um, just because I know how my appetite has been the last couple of days where I haven't really been hungry on my eat days and I just don't want that to screw up this fast. So I went ahead and broke because I don't know how my appetite's gonna be today. I had myself a bowl of protein packed oatmeal with some almond butter drizzled on top and some granola. And then for dinner last night, we decided to go ahead and do tacos. We were gonna do it tonight, but I wanted to make sure that I was getting in enough good nutrients today. So we had tacos last night, um, carb balanced tortillas, lavish bread chips that I make. Um, which are also kind of carb conscious and then chicken for the meat and did that and it was really tasty it was really good i went to bed really full um woke up this morning and i felt bloated but i don't look bloated which is good i haven't really been focusing too much on that recently anyways i went downstairs and went on a walk already now i'm in the process of making these donuts and it's 9 22 in the morning so probably hold off until 10 before i decide to make breakfast i haven't really decided what i want to do yet Probably an omelet, that sounds good, an omelet with an avocado. And then for lunch, don't really know what I'll do. And then for dinner tonight, like I said, I'll do a ribeye steak with some broccoli and some other side as well. So that's kind of what's all going on in this neck of the woods. Um, just preparing for this big fast. I'm really nervous about it. I really wanna make it through because I wanna to prove to myself that I can, but I also need to remember to listen to the signs of my body. And that's something that I would suggest for anybody who is trying to do something like this. If you've not done it before, you're going to have to listen to the signs of your body. If you feel like you're going to pass out because you haven't had anything to eat, you need to eat. If you're getting emotional and crying because you're so hungry, then you need to eat. You have to listen to the signs of your body. That's the most important part about this whole journey. So why am I doing this prolonged fast? Some people are wanting to know. Basically, in doing this, it's going to spark my metabolism. Your growth hormone actually heightens whenever you do a longer fast as well as the autophagy benefits that go with it as well. So basically with fasting for over 24 hours, my body is going to start breaking down and repairing those old and diseased cells with the autophagy benefits. Um, my body's also going to be burning fat stored on my body. You know, like I've told you guys, I have 24% body fat left, but I am wanting to burn a little bit more um, just to feel, you know, a little bit more lean, I guess, and that's okay. I've built up so much muscle now and I know I look really thick so burning a little bit of extra fat on my body i feel comfortable with doing at this point so that's just my journey and my path and what i see for me right now like i said if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out i can always try again in the future but 72 hours of fasting has a ton of added health benefits so it's kind of what i'm striving for but i am going to check these donuts that are in the oven right now and um, i'll let you guys go and talk to you later on today Well guys, it is 
10.30. Kind of late for me. Um, again, up late. <laughs> but I've been just kind of working on some things. I haven't really wanted to go to bed yet. So I think I'm getting there though. I'm getting pretty tired and I'm kind of ready for my head to hit the pillow. So I wanted to sign out of tonight's vlog. You know, um, today I was able to get in the calories I needed to and the next three days we'll see how it goes. My next vlog will actually be released on Thursday. I'm kind of wanting to wrap up the three days of fasting into one vlog so the next time you see me will be then unless I put out a video between now and then which very well might happen but I think I'm prepared. I think I'm ready and I'm anxious to get to it and see how well I do that's for sure. I really know if I keep to it and stay motivated and determined I can get through it so that's the plan and that's the goal. So for dinner, I ended up having to ribeye steak like what I thought was some broccoli and half a sweet potato that I split with Ian. Afterwards, I had some yogurt with some powdered peanut butter and almond butter on top. So protein, 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 protein. I know, but I think it'll keep me full tomorrow for sure. It'll be the two days after that that I'm a little concerned about. But if I stay distracted enough, I think I can get through them. We'll see. I've been kind of in a weird mood today. Um, earlier we went out for kind of a trail run, which was fun. It was nice to get out and go exploring. The trail we went on is one we've been on before, but it's just a really pretty nature trail and I love nature. I really want to move someplace where it's like all around us all the time. But um, we got out and we did that. Came home, like I said, waited a little bit after a shower before making dinner. And I kind of fell into a weird mood about my body. I was kind of um, lacking the confidence today that I had been feeling the past couple of days. And I try not to do this, but you know, you see a lot of fitness influencers out there and they're all very petite and haven't been overweight before. Or if they have, then it's not been since they were very young. And so my body just looks a lot different from a lot of those girls and I know that and I have a thicker frame which is also something I know but I just don't see a lot of girls in their fitness journey that are like that. I think a lot of the time when women see other women on social media platforms they feel envious and wish their body was like that and I've done that before as well and I'm trying not to let myself do that because I'm me and I know where my body is. I know I'm thicker and wider I guess I should say. Um, and that's not going to change no matter how much weight I try to lose or if I were to get skin removal surgery. It's not going to change how wide my hips are or how wide my rib cage is and I know that. I was just kind of having a harder time accepting that today for whatever reason. And I don't know why. Hopefully it gets better. That's all I can say about that. I know it will. It has in the past so it'll get better again. But that was kind of the weird mood I was in earlier for whatever reason so. Anyway. um. Like I said, it's late. I'm ready for bed. Ready to hit the sack. <laughs> Wake up tomorrow and start the 72 hours of fasting. Let's say I'm prepared. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by and watching this week's vlog. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on Thursday morning.